I forget how to enter mod modes. So that'll be fun mm. when I need to actually set up a poll. This is not quite living. I'll need Zygon to code just for that. Vigorous Force has grown from being something that I think a lot of people like didn't respect early on to being like the most terrifying card to see on level one. Yeah. I think Vigorous Force and Gather Force. Gather Force looks so bad. It just reads like total garbage. Um, but it turns out it's really, really good with Vigorous Force. I remember seeing Gather Force and just thinking it was like toning, you know? Okay, yeah. It, it looks like toning, but it yeah. is definitely not toning. Yeah. Hey, CT5. CT5. Enjoyed your stream earlier. Alright, so I've just been jamming musician. Um, Normally my start's a little bit better than this. I don't think I want to break through. I think the early break is kind of bad, but this is also all pretty bad. I was about to say this hand... <laughs> this hand doesn't exactly make me go, ah, yes, this seems much better than early break no. Although I, I also don't know that early break much looks better. So you, you don't roll at all until three? Pretty much. I mean, like I said, usually your board gets to be a little bit better than this. Um, but my general plan has been to just... On no roll. rolls? Yeah. I mean, normally two cards work well together. <laughs> like, normally you have at least <laughs> two cards yeah. that work together. <laughs> you have either two Crash Fists or... A source of chi generation and vigorous yeah. force, a or any a source of, of physique and mountain cleaving. Yeah, yeah, literally yeah. any any two things that would go together would be cool. You still beat that guy though. Yeah, he's making physique the fool. All right, perks a nice upgrade. I mean, this carefree gene's kind of funny, but let's just take that. Um, I have been taking unceasing exercise, and my reasoning. I think you have to if you're gonna not roll at all. Well, the thing is, I never break through on. I never break through with physique. But yeah. I need a little you bit need of to physique. Feel free. Exactly. And I'd rather lose fights playing this now than uh, lose fights later trying to make yeah. it up. The only time I don't really it's take it. It's also just not a bad card, and it's plus one. Cole. Like, even if you're looking to break, break through on Cole instead of physique, it's plus one Cole. Yeah, exactly. Like, and it's, it's still not. never wrong. Yeah, the only time I have been skipping it is if you get the thing that gives you one physique when you play your first card of the deck. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's just the whole, all the physique you need for the whole game, just in a single card. Yeah. So. Nope, I completely agree. But yeah, no, uh, unceasing is like if you're not, if you're saying I'm not going to roll until tier three, unceasing is better than anything you're going to get off of not rolling. It's plus one coal and it fuels your tier three. It feels like an auto take. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's more or less where I land on it. Um, also, I mean, this Crash Fist, it's a good card. I have a good card on my board. Small losses. I like. I love the Crash Fist fuels itself on second cycle. It's always <laughs> yeah. so funny when that works. That's a cool upgrade. Um, so I kind of don't like locking Sticks Agility, even though I think you do need it. And the reason yeah, is... Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lock it here. The reason is pretty simple. You, you just don't have the time to do it. Do you think the Scale Shadow Claw kills me? Yes. Is it better than not playing it, though? I'm not sure. It is probably better than not playing it. I would just play it in slot uh, 6. But You're can... making it to slot 6 against that board. Oh, I guess I guess you can get chi. Sure, you can play it in slot 5. I would never play it before 4. I, okay, fair. That's a bit right. dicey. It is a bit dicey. I, I mean, this is incredibly dicey. Yeah. I don't, I don't like this, but I respect it. Also, Skull Profeta, we're probably playing, obviously, Zhao Bu. Uh, I think we're trying to play a game of Belly Button Boy, maybe Blacksmith, uh, maybe Rat. So we'll, we'll see what we end up getting up to. Alright, stop hitting me now. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Pretty close. Easy. Easy. Look at that. Health to spare. Yeah, no ninja. Alright, this is the stressful turn. I'm surprised uh, you, you didn't look at the shop before eating things. I just need to play this turn quickly. <laughs> Sorry. That's the main Oh, reason. you rolling down here? I yes. thought this board was good enough to sit on, but fair. Nah, you can just do a lot better. Fair. Fair, fair. 
I'll find something better than this. Already getting ready. Okay, okay, all right. I really don't want to play Gale Shadow Claw. I'm gonna just do my best to not hiss and cringe into your ear as I see these. That's fair. Plays and cards. What is not good enough yet? Your board got a lot worse. I I, I think I'm hmm. just buying this. Um. So ideally, you find more tier three cards. Hey, J buddy. She bought it too. Fair enough. I'm mostly looking for Majestic Chi. Is by far the most important card. Um, sure. So I don't know. I felt like that other board you were playing does something this turn for sure. I mean, this, this does I get it. decent I get damage. It. Yeah, so it's Majestic Chi, um, obviously Mighty Force, Heartbroken Tune. You're winning this? Yeah, what's great? Heartbroken Tune, mm, let's, Tiger. Let's be real. <laughs> Okay, that's good. That's functional, regrettably. I don't have enough physique for that ever. No, you, you will never have enough physique for that. I don't think this is good enough. Bones, I've already got bearing the load. Bones sucks. Bones is nice with force though. It's not as nice as people think it is. I mean, it's a lot nicer than bearing the load a lot of the time, but I get if you're gonna pivot into that build. Alright, I just need... that helps. Now I've not got enough chi, but that's fine. Isn't it Majestic, Sky, Vigorous, Mighty? Sorry, I, I played that turn a bit... a bit loose. That's fine. This doesn't really do anything. Maybe I picked that up? Hey, Minjin. Uh, I think Mighty Force, then... The Vigorous Forces usually works out best. That's fair. In in running a, a bunch of boards and seeing how much damage they all do, it's usually better to just get the Force and then spend it. I actually legitimately forgot the Mighty Force gained Force. Yes. It it does like 30 damage and gives you a million Force for some reason. <laughs> okay, I should have played the Bearing the Load a little. I don't know why I thought her cards are more defensively oriented than they were. Dude, just find all the mighty forces, that's kind of cool. It's really good, yeah. I don't really support it's Windward crazy Palms. how good Windward Palms is and how unplayable it is here. <laughs> yeah, straight garbage. Um, Am I stuck playing Stinking It's Street? funny that Force is so good that Windward Palms is bad. Yes, yes, that's a good way to put it. I'm, I'm also that I'm considering playing this terrible card. One, two, three, four. Am I ever actually... I, I wouldn't that? consider playing that terrible card. <laughs> you wouldn't consider it? That's fair. Uh, Senpai mentioned it earlier, but you may want to take the Pact. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's fine. You want to win, anyway. This Pact was definitely the important one. It's probably okay. It's like 14 Destiny for a bunch of exchanges. I'm not playing this card. Thank you. Alright, so I don't have tigers or uh, tunes is the main things that this board is missing. They're the things but, that... I mean, if you end up in force build, it's also fine. Yeah, 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 it's fine. But those things that you set up like turn four kills all the way up till tier five, which is, uh, you know, not a bad place to be. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's fair, Senpai. I also like rolling on three more than rolling on four for those reasons. I don't really know how I feel about Sailing Through Sky. I feel like it's usually really hard to support, especially when you've already got Mighty Force. Yeah, if you've already got Mighty Force, it makes less sense. Okay, huge upgrade. Yeah, your board's looking terrifying. I'm probably just combining these. And then just slapping with a mountain. Yeah. This is a nice card to have access to, but it's also kind of whatever. Like, it's terrible here. Hmm, I mean, it's fine. Okay. I should break through, though. Is Sailing Through Sky ever good? It It is 
on specific boards where it's part of your agility and force together. That's nice. Yeah, nice pickup. It means I don't really need to care about really, this really good. bearing the load anymore. Sailing the Sky, I feel like two copies of Sailing the Sky is good, but one copy is really bad. Like, it's only good yeah. if the agility does something, right? Yeah. Well, that's why I like pairing it up with, like, the Tier 4 Chi Force card, because that has agility. Yeah. Right? Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, Surging Waves. All right, and then I generally don't roll till five. This board is a little bit stunted with how it can grow, but it's still probably fine. I may just roll the Crazed Dance Gene though, because it's a musician card and I get a tier four, a higher chance at a tier four card. Searching waves. I need to start doing that. I need to start, uh, now that they made that reveal that your first card is more likely to be of your current tier, even if I'm greeting, I should plan on greeting with not spending the rolls up front, but spending one per turn. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really I wonder if that... valuable thing to know. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at if this is a turn four kill. <laughs> is that what you're gonna say? Uh, no, I was gonna say, I wonder if, because like for a long time, people thought that uh, Default Dan overperformed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And I, think... I wonder if that's just because Default Dan naturally had that playstyle that no one else knew actually did that. I think it's a huge part of his consistency. I think it's a, I think it's a really big part of his uh his consistency. I don't know if the surging the waves is good. I normally don't draw a serving so that I don't think it's good. It's four extra force. It might make it to the vigorous force just kills. But I'm not sure. Stupid iron bone makes life a little bit harder. Child, stop hitting me. I mean, you've got them. Still, it's rude. It's rude to hit people when they're blocking. They've but shown, we're going to be child like today. They've shown they're not a threat. Uh, same story as before. Okay. That makes it a lot more reasonable to play. What makes more force? Double surging or majestic chi? Probably majestic chi, right? It's three uh, chi, three force. The upgrade on surging do? It's plus a chi, right? Yeah. But I'm saying I can do this and play these, but it's only uh, two chi. There's no way that's good. That's way worse. That's yeah. considerably worse. It's just like this is pretty much the same board as playing them together. Because of the agility. Yeah, yeah. You know, that, that makes a lot of sense. And cap, well, you're super force capped, but yeah. Yes. I guess maybe this is better. But then I'm also force capped after this. Yeah, you may as well just play them together. I don't know. Slap them. I, I feel like they're supposed to be separate, but I have no idea where they're supposed to be separate. I don't know what's going on here either. I think, I think your previous one where you headed after the Vigorous was correct. But I also... Like don't know that it matters because the majestic chi is capping you anyways from the passive ticks. Yeah, it's pretty so you bizarre. Could, like surging into bearing the load. I don't know. <laughs> I love the synergy. This board is why you want overwhelming forces. I mean, if I find an overwhelming force, we can play it. Right, here is a million damage. Nice block. Yeah, I'm just kind of making defense with my, uh, <laughs> with my surging waves. It's fine. This is disgusting. Yeah, this is a good board. This is a good board that didn't draw a lot of the pieces that I wanted. Though granted, we did pick up these surging waves instead. Her, her board was also disgusting in the other way. Oh yeah. Like, I, I like, like, I like the zero sword intent cat chaos. <laughs> um, can I break through? It's pretty bad, right? I can't imagine breaking throughs right here. There's some upgraded cards. I love the idea of it, though. I, I have that same intrusive thought of can I break through, but it <laughs> is very much an intrusive thought here. 
Is her bod doing anything? One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't really seem like it. Thunder tripped on three, that's why I say she's gonna break through and have a very different board here. I really don't think there's a way to get good value out of this uh, surging waves. Maybe just to make four defense. You'll be happy to know I figured out how to do an intermod view. Very good. I am. I am relieved. So I can help us pull later. Okay. So even if we lose this fight, we're at a fairly high destiny. We have a roll down. There's sure roar in the shop, and we obviously don't have much infrastructure to support it other than this concentric team. Well, I I wouldn't say that. Um, you do have a zero cost scroll of exchange, so you could just put everything that isn't double trouble and bearing the load, um, in concentric tune in your hand, click scroll of exchange and just be on a full poison build at that point. That's a good point. That, that is something yeah. that I am legally allowed to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, I would encourage it after what you did on my stream. <laughs> I did science. It was for the greater good. I mean, what if this, what happens if you click exchange, huh? Huh? Yeah, the people wanted to know. I like how much healing she gained from that uh, marrow. Yeah, I don't either. She kind of healed everything you'd done to her. Yeah. Well, that's alright. So, we kind of have a whole force build here now with this. Which makes breaking through a little hard. See ya. I can't kick Concentric, I can kick the Majestic Cheese and the Double Trouble. Yeah. I don't really care for the Crash Footwork version. So I'll keep the Double Trouble. I still think I'm taking on Wavering Soul. Hey, Periapsis. I think. I'm kind of surprised you click the uh, Concentric. For Kurodo Memoir, I'll take that. Yeah, that works for it me. It could also be Surreal Kurodo. True. I'm still going to take this. What are you doing over there? Not that much. Yeah. Perfect. That's the card I wanted. Predicament. Predicament actually is the card I want. Okay. Yeah, Predicament's crazy. This card has no future. But it's like, good right now, you know? That really awkward situation. Similar with Blink. I kind of just want to... Blink, except Blink isn't good right now. Yeah. Tiger Pouncing. Just pay retail it's for it. 20 damage hit, yeah, it's... Sure. Slap them. Yeah. I could pay 12 Destiny for a Shura Roll. I don't want to pay 12 Destiny for a Shura Roll. No. To be honest. I'll pay... I'll not, pay 12 right life. Now. I'll pay 12 life. Well, I would... I would love to pay 12 Destiny for a Shura Roar. Would we have anything on our board at all that synergizes with the Shara Roar? Yeah. Get a chase here. Very funny. Didn't even cost that much physique. Unfortunately, he's healing again. How dare they? Yeah. That's also rude. Max. It was not cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Stupid character. It's alright, we win. Nice healing, nerd. Alright. Bearing Apparition, Apparition doesn't really do anything. Can roll some tier 1 cards, some tier 2 cards. Yeah, it's it's beautiful what we're drawing here. Truncate is really bad, in my opinion. <laughs> I have never, really? I have never been impressed with Truncate. I love Truncate. I think it's a lot worse on somebody who is actually actively wanting to benefit from debuffs on themselves. Mm-hmm. But, like, I love, like, Sticks Truncate in the mid-game feels so good. Mm. I, hear what, I hear what you're saying, but I have just felt like it does so little. Green footwork. Kind of close to I also footwork. play a lot of Crash Fist where it gives two away. Okay. I kind of think yeah, I'm playing this... Yeah, really, really playing it now. Yeah. And just doing, like, this with your like, sure, sure, roll roar. Chi. Well, 
One, two, three, four. She's kind of murdering me on four. Yeah, this card is well and truly dead. Sticks Agility is funny because it heals me, but it's also <laughs> kind of terrible. I don't want to kick any of this. I don't love this board. It feels kind of too slow. It feels very too slow. Like, like this, I don't... this feels like Hep to Star Hell. A little bit, yeah. You, you, you've got that whole. I'm a, I'm a uh, debuff board, except I don't really have the debuff cards. Yeah. Like I have good debuff cards, but not a full board of it. And like, I'm a force build, but I don't really have the full force cards. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of a, it's kind of a mess. Hopefully, her board is enough of a mess that it's okay. She played a water hex, which inspires me a lot to think you're going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very upgraded Five Thunders. <laughs> Physical Purgatory. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Alright, and that's 14 Destiny? Jesus, that was not a lot of Destiny. Death no, nice I have, pick up. I'll, I'll let you play this round, but then I have an important question for you afterwards. Okay. Probably want to anti-chase this fellow. Yeah, yeah. Or, or else you could lose. That's another thing you could do. I can lose. Because if you don't, if you don't anti-chase that fellow, you're dead. I need two copies of that one. The board is just like moving off this. I mean, it's stuff. just dot. It's like just dot, right? In yeah. this matchup. Hmm. Probably combining this. I like. Well, okay, let's just start getting off this four stuff, because if I don't, I'm gonna just stomach myself and die. Mm. I agree with that. He's faster, he goes... It's so funny that Chi Denial doesn't really do anything here. <laughs> yeah, this fragrant is just cosmetic. It's, you deny one attack up. Okay, good pickup. So, I definitely want what to... What was the point of that upgrade? Uh, Cultivation. But are we ever going first against him? No, but I'm okay, probably cool, playing cool. predicament. Sure. <laughs> probably playing predicament forever. So attack down is good. The question is, do I also want to copy Ghost Howling onto him? I think it's too slow. Well, he goes one, two, three, four. It's not. That slow. He, he hits on. He hits on three. One, two, three, four. What? He's oh you're anti chasing I'm stupid sorry sorry right 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 I, right, I, right, I'm so right. Confused. right 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 I'm right, so right, confused right 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 it's the first game of the night yep yep I can yep. use my excuse right now Fair anyways enough. my important question to distract to distract from my idiocy uh -huh, uh -huh. um last round mm -hmm. we got her to exact lethal yeah is that exact lethal and calculated. Or is it exact lethal and calculated if she dies to the exact six dot afterwards? I need I need to know like what is the consensus? They, oh. Are they both it? We, yeah. we take either of them. We take either of them. We definitely take. We take both. either of them. We, yeah. we call we call exact for either of them. Yeah, yeah, it's exact. I feel like only one of them can truly be exact, but I guess we'll just take whatever whatever claims we can take. That's my approach. As long as they get to zero, then it's then it's calculated. I don't need an additional predicament. It's just draw a card. I either zero could work. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I love that I get to roll this card away. Just gives me so much joy to roll Cord and Tune away. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I get it, but I hate it. It's all seizing. We just upgrade them now. They're really not very good separate. Alright, what's going on here? So, it is an anti chase. Uh There's a million force there. I have to play the Shura Roar. I, I want to point out. Let's not say they're not good separate. Let's say they upgrade well, but let's not say they're not good separate. Okay, fair enough. Like each each one of them is a level one card that's a twenty eight point swing. Like that's <laughs> they're pretty good separate. <laughs> they're pretty good separate. It's a very hard board to figure out what's going on over here. Pretty sure I'm off tiger pouncing. Because I want to go first. It's in the shop. Nothing, right? 
could change these. Well, terrain. what do you mean nothing? How? Okay. Also, I'm so confused. How do you get away with your chat not constantly telling you to click the scroll of exchange? <laughs> they would never do that to me. That chat would never I'm do sorry. that to me. You've had scroll of exchange at zero cost this entire game, and there hasn't been one suggestion for you to click it. Yeah, concentric without hop rate kind of mid. That's true. It is a bit bad. Ow, stop kidding me. It is the first game of the night, that's true. I love Soul Blade. That is true. So, my my best friend uh, watch, watches you a lot of nights as well, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Happy to have um, him on board. <laughs> it's Noctil if you ever see a bop bop. I have seen Noctil, I'm putting yeah. him on blast here. I'm putting him on blast and calling him out. He's gonna hate this. He does. He does. When I, when I talk about your stream sometimes, he's like, Cyril kicks every card. Cyril just, Cyril <laughs> will like eat all of his cards. And it bothers me so much. He's just like, he'll, he'll like eat a card and be like, I probably needed that later. Yeah. <laughs> <I just> like... <laughs> sometimes you just have to kick a card you might need later. <laughs> it's just how it goes. <laughs> It's Sorry, funny Noct, for it, you watching this. It's funny because I keep having I kept having games where I was just like, man, how do you win with this faction? It just feels impossible. Um and people were like, well, that game you died and you had 12 cards in your hand. So maybe there was something you could have done. Um speaking of things I need to do, this is kind of a nightmare. So Never going first. One, two, three, four, five. Just going on five. One, two, three, four. So we get the weaken. I don't know if we really. I'm letting you take the turn because I'm thinking for a pun acronym for PhD to respond to us otherwise. Yeah, no, very good. I'm glad that we're both yeah. using our time effectively here. Yeah, yeah. And this is probably still better. I thought of one, but it's it's not actually helpful or relevant. Okay. So well, I mean, that that's never stopped anyone before, so it's probably fine. Alright, I'll save these cards to exchange them. Alright, I think this is just a hard fight to win from here, but we might be okay, we'll see. The anti-chase doesn't do that much, but we're somewhat tanky. And if we do land the weaken on the five thunders, that goes a pretty long way. Which looks like we will. So the Five Thunders is not that threatening. Uh, it could be less threatening. We definitely got her. I have, don't have a lot of damage, is the problem. Uh, you probably somewhat got her. I don't have uh, the Heartbroken Tunes. Sure, it just doesn't quite. I, uh, I am bloodied, and I apologize for that. <laughs> you did. You, you, I can't believe you imp bloodied me. This technically wins now. Hmm. Surely she won't get any upgrades. It's kind of hard to upgrade her board that much. <laughs> okay, so just putting a random attack at the back would have won. So, I think I'm off Exercise Marrow. I'm not playing it this fight, so I'm just never playing it. Yeah. Ooh, Kindness Gym. Maybe that'll help me. Sprite. Yeah, it's not good enough. That's a max Sticks Agility. Which is relevant because you get another. Oh no no! It doesn't improve the soul cleaving. I don't know how this faction works. Uh, it does improve the soul cleaving. Yeah. I think these are kind of bad. I agree. Still, I mean, I can run this. I guess if she's not chasing straight away, it's a little bit better. Okay, let's... I should have kept the Ghost Talon instead of Double Trouble. Ooh, that floor. That floor was actually really good. Okay, well, Soul Cleaving upgrades, so I'm probably just running Soul Cleaving, Seizing, Seizing. I think that's reasonable. It's either that or Soul Cleaving, Seizing, Seizing, Soul Cleaving. Yeah. Uh, it's probably still Double Trouble over Concentric, right? Double Trouble over Concentric? Like, uh... you're never... You're never playing another turn after the Concentric. Yeah, double, double Trouble was probably more damage. Better. Yeah, that's fair. We could have cut the Anti-Chase, it's true. I think the problem is we die to the back half of her board if we do that. Yeah, she just incidentally has backstab chase cards that she's going to play even if we're anti-chasing. Yeah. 
So I, I think it is definitely correct to be playing the anti chase here. Like and then she's smart. Also dead. Smart. Right. Not good enough. Woo. I was saying this character was bad like two streams ago. <laughs> I can't imagine that. I I feel like this character is tough, not bad. Yeah.